Hey everyone, Scooby Doo here, and welcome to a look at the Anovos Darth Vader fiberglass helmet that I got. And next to it, over on the left, is the Ruby Supreme or Ruby's Deluxe Darth Vader. Not really trying to compare them because there is no comparing the two, other than I just wanted you to see the difference. Um, the Novos is going to run you anywhere between like $500 to $700. And the Rubies, you can get that for about like $125. And if you're just looking for a display helmet and it's just going to go up on a shelf and you're just wanting a Vader helmet, then I would just still suggest the Rubies. However, since, you know, I had that big Star Wars wall and I have some other custom helmets and the FET build and I has you know, I have some pretty nice helmets. Um, I just felt it was time to change out to get a nice Vader helmet. That's really the only reason, because the other one works just fine. Um, but I just wanted to show you the new one, because I, I just think it's fantastic. Every time I look at it, it's kind of like I feel like Vader is actually here, because it just looks so nice. And not that the Rubies is bad. It's not. For the price, it's, it's really the best way to go. Um, comes in a really nice box. Just going to move this really quickly. A really big box, actually. So I will be keeping that in storage. And then I have two of the um, Force Toys Stormtroopers flanking them on either side. Just if you're curious, I already did a review on those before. Just a much cheaper, less expensive version of the Hot Toys Stormtrooper. Now, as far as the big differences other than one's made out of and i'm talking about the vader helmets one's made out of plastic and the other one's made out of fiberglass um the weight is considerably more on the fiberglass i mean it it feels like a real helmet not like the other one isn't but i mean it's it's heavy i mean it's got some it's definitely got some weight to it and the rubies is just it's just plastic. Now, you also have a third version. You can go with the EFX um, Precision Darth Vader helmet, which is going to run you around $300. So it's kind of like in between uh, these two helmets, and it comes in more of a flat black color. I'll show you two here on this helmet. I get the top off. It kind of locks into place a little bit. This one actually has the... Uh, little, I don't know what you call them. So we just won't call them anything. Whatever these are, the giblets or giblets or, or whatever I've heard other people call them. And you can see the paint job on here is just fantastic. So that just adds a little bit more because actually how I have it or how I'm going to have it displayed, if you look straight up, you'll actually be able to see some of these from underneath the uh, visor of the uh, top part of the helmet. And then the inside is uh, really nicely padded. The lenses are really nice. It's just heavy. It's just a really heavy helmet. I'm going to wait and put the helmet back on later because I don't want to scratch it or get a bunch of fingerprints on it. Uh, and speaking of lenses, the Rubies, they put the lenses on the outside, which is the only thing I really didn't like about it. I don't know if that comes up in the camera or not. But again, this isn't a review on the Ruby. So if you couldn't see it, that's another reason why you should just get a Rubies if you're just getting one for display. So there's the helmet. It's awesome. I think I actually would prefer to have had uh, the FX one, the limited edition one that came out a while ago but those are they're not making those anymore and they're over a thousand dollars or more those come in like a flat black which i you know i kind of like the shiny helmet but then i also like the flat black it's just i guess it's a preference uh, which one that you like better but there it is if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below uh just some updates on the video i did the other day when i was swimming in it i guess i could just take the camera off the tripod and um, I just started cleaning stuff up I don't want to go into detail on anything that I've done just I cleaned up a lot of stuff obviously that was all the stuff that was on the floor um, this is the FET kind of been messing with the gauntlets and stuff 
I really love those gauntlets. Came out awesome. And then over here we have uh, another mannequin. So that one is going to be for the MEPD uh, Sand Trooper. And uh, you can see there's some changes to the um, entertainment cabinet. I've already done all the wiring for the sound and everything. And I'll go over that uh, in another video. I'm just kind of... If any of you guys were worried with all the stuff that I had to do, I got a lot of it cleaned up yesterday. So there we go. Questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and i talk to you guys later, and I still hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend.